Just a quick video today. Here is a Lisa Electronic model DM1300 Studio Mixer. Spoiler, there is nothing studio about this thing. It gives you two inputs that can either be line level or phono inputs. And then it gives you two microphone inputs and you can mix them all together. So it's a simple little mixer for a DJ. And this was a flea market find about 10 years ago. It's been around for a long time, but I never really liked using this. And the reason becomes quite apparent when I turn it on. Now, to illustrate the problem, as you can see, all the inputs are at zero, just the master fader is all the way up. If I now turn on the unit, it's connected to the amplifier here on the workbench. Yeah, there is hum. There is a lot of hum. I wanted to try and repair this problem. It's basically a matter of either repair it or get rid of it because uh, I can't have this thing just sitting around being all useless for any longer. So I unmounted the power supply. It does have a voltage regulator. So I was taking some measurements to see if that was maybe faulty and there was a ripple in the supply power. And then I more or less accidentally got close to those switches down there. Yeah, those are super duper sensitive. Uh, those are the talk switches. So they reduce the level of the music so that you can talk over the music because you are a DJ. And Lisa Electronic decided that it would be a great idea to put those switches right next to all the mains wiring. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, look at that. These cables, if we follow them along, right there, they're right next to the fuse. They go all the way to over there. So I have a feeling it would have been a much better design if they had just put those switches over onto the other side of the unit. Well, anyway, I have a feeling that uh, that might be the source of the problem because the voltage regulator seems to be perfectly fine. I mean, yeah, might be good to replace those old capacitors, but technically it's working. So let me see what happens if I try to take out those switches. Yeah. There is some really, really high sensitivity right there. Well, it seems like this talk feature was a complete afterthought. I don't have a schematic for this unit, but from what I can tell, what those switches do is they either short out four resistors on the board right here to ground, or they put another resistor in parallel to lower the total value of those resistors. I now have all the signal wires completely disconnected and the unit behaves as if the talk switch was in the off position. I thought I'd have to uh, just bypass something on here. Now I have all the settings as they were, all inputs down to zero and the master output at maximum. And if I now turn this on, there is still some hum, but it's much, much better. Now if I reconnect one of the signal wires. Mm. 
the hum returns. So I think that was the problem. For another test, I have soldered this one signal wire back onto the board. If I turn on the mixer, the hum is back in the right channel. And again, all signal wire is disconnected. Turn on the unit. Much better. The wires have been removed. The solder joints have been cleaned up. Looks a lot more neat in here now. The switches will stay in place for cosmetic reasons. I don't want to have two holes in the faceplate. And because I can already see somebody writing into the comments something along the lines of removing the feature is not a proper repair. Well, let me clearly tell you, this is a design flaw. You don't connect long wires and a switch to a super sensitive part of the circuit and put the switches next to mains wiring. That is just asking for trouble and you can't get this right. You can't repair that. That's a design flaw. Anyway, the other thing that I did is I upgraded the capacitors on the power supply not because the original capacitors were bad. These are fine. But the main filter capacitor on here was only 470 microfarads. And the filter capacitor on the output of the voltage regulator was only 220 microfarads. Those have now both been upgraded to 1000 microfarads. But unfortunately, that did not make a difference at all. The problem is, now, I have all the faders turned down, including the master output. But if I turn on the unit, you probably can't hear anything. But if I increase the volume of the test amplifier, there is still hum. If I turn off the unit, the hum disappears. So, unfortunately, this thing still is not hi-fi. Now, it was never designed to be hi-fi. It was designed to be a DJ toy. But it would be nice if I could get rid of this hum. The mixer has now been disconnected from its internal power supply and instead has been connected to this bench power supply as an external power supply. This puts out 25 volts and if I turn it on and increase the volume all you can hear is amplifier noise. There is no more hum whatsoever. And just to prove that this is not an issue of the voltage regulation of the internal supply, if I turn on power right now, all that's going to happen is the lights are going to come on, because those are connected straight to the AC output of the transformer. As I said, the DC output is disconnected. If I turn it on, the hum immediately returns. So, the ultimate solution for this mixer is an external 25 volt power supply. But that won't happen today. It's late. Good night.